Hey, Morgan SLV here. Hey, thanks for tuning in once again. Uh, today is Friday, uh, 716. 716 2010 let's go over gold and silver gold uh, 1192 down 17 dollars silver 1787 down 46 cents yeah I had a uh, phone call bright and early this morning from uh, Monic Monix uh, company uh, they're a bullion dealer and a guy by the name of Steve we seem to be kind of hitting it off uh, you know I haven't bought anything from them yet uh, it doesn't mean I won't in the future we talked to me talked to me quite a while about their uh, their silver eagle program there uh, you know as you know those are uh, four nines fine as far as the silver goes <clears throat> and uh, you know it's the same price as, as uh, he was saying it's a good price you know what they get it's a 60 cent spread they, they have there and you know I don't know that I might I might buy something from them in the future you know right now as you guys know I use uh, a coin shop here in Rockland California a bullion shop here and because uh, I can you know it's cash and carry and I kinda like that we're getting ready to do about a uh, I've got a group of people together it's gonna be anywhere from 50 to 70 thousand strong over the next two weeks uh, you know, so they like me there. I want to go over a series of things with you guys here today. And uh, the the guy that's like on the hot seat with me today is uh, Bill Murphy. And he heads up GATA, GATA.org. It's the Gold Antitrust Committee. <clears throat> and um, let's go over some things that he's talking about. And I, I find them pretty interesting. Gold and silver are related to interest rates in as in this. A lot of people are out there, well, I'm not a gold bug or I'm not a silver bug. So it doesn't really you know what you're talking about it goes way over my head and I don't really uh, I'm not interested in it well here's the deal everybody pays the price when they manipulate gold and silver okay and here's the reason had they not manipulated gold and silver or gold let's just talk about gold for a minute uh, right now if it had just followed inflation it'd be at twenty three hundred dollars an ounce now anytime you inflate the currency uh, gold will act as a gauge as a warning system to say hey what do we got going on we got inflation going on here ie gold goes up people start to run for a safe haven and that that acts as a barometer or a, a, you know a thermometer and tells tells the public what is going on it's something that you can track okay if gold was traded fee freely it would have been more there would have been more warning signs there would have been less risk taking so in other words this <clears throat> if you have manipulated gold price you know their main thing is this. Uh, Bill was talking about <clears throat> over the last, I think, I think I want to say over the last year, there's been several occasions where gold gold has went up exactly two percent at a time. In other words, they don't they they're the whole the whole issue with gold and them manip manipulating it is this. They want to make sure there's very little fanfare on whatever it does. It's kind of a they want to they want to you know and what happens is you have a kind of like a sleeping giant. It's uh, you know uh, a steady accumulation, but nothing like oh my gosh you know gold went up four hundred dollars today or a hundred dollars today right which would cause huge fanfare and make more people notice it so they're trying to keep it as quiet as possible. If they hadn't manipulated it and it did rise, I don't believe interest rates would have stayed as low as they are or have been for as long as they have been because here's the deal: if they hadn't been manipulating the gold and silver. All right, gold and silver precious metals we wouldn't have had a housing bubble the interest rates would not have been kept that low for that long if we, you know in other words what I'm trying to say is we need more honesty okay you know uh, the, 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 the dollar according to Jason Hummel is you know it's basically you know it's a promise of a promise to pay right I mean they don't have you know it's not backed by anything and if the public ever deemed it worthless in their mind or the, with the will of the people right it would be worthless right so that's an issue that's an issue right there um, I'll tell you what if a large number of people right now were to go to the COMEX and say I want my gold and silver and a large number isn't very long I hear I hear anywhere from 10 10 percent 15 percent of the people if the 10 percent of the people that had bought precious metals ETFs let's say <clears throat> from the COMEX and they said they wanted their gold and silver today they wouldn't be able to produce it it would cause a default and that would be that would make news right rising gold prices suggest that there is something wrong according to Bill Murphy they keep the price as low as they can to not scare the in other words they they, they manipulate the price to be as as uh, uh, is keep as much fanfare away from it as, as to not scare the sheep right they don't want to scare the public 
They don't want to, they don't want to have anything to compete with the almighty dollar. Bill Murphy was talking to a room full of high elected officials from Russia. This is going back a few years. Gold was roughly 350 bucks an ounce at this time. He told them that there would have to be three to five thousand dollar an ounce gold to clear to clear the markets. In other words, to flush out all this uh, all this um, ill handlings of our money, right? Of our money supply, all the inflated dollars and whatnot. Three to five thousand an ounce. Well, I'll tell you what. He said almost immediately, gold prices had taken off. And uh, you know we're, we've been we've been soaring for the last I don't know eight ten years. So um, my bottom line is this: as you all know, I'm a silver bug mainly, okay. And uh, so if we were talking five thousand dollar an ounce gold, and I'm looking for ten to one on my silver, that's five hundred dollars an ounce. I'll have stored in the not too different future. My goal is 4,000 ounces. So you guys do the math. At least I'll have a choice on what's coming up. And uh, today's gonna be a little bit shorter of a video. I've been working my rear end off. Uh, summertime is the busy time for my business. And uh, I'll be looking for you soon. I'll be looking for you in the near future. Hey, my heart goes out to uh, Peter Schiff. He's really trying. Uh, he had a gal, a uh, 13 year old gal, make 800 and 850 calls or 837 calls uh, uh, yesterday, uh, just as trying to help, you know, and her dad said, well, I don't even know if you can make those calls, you know, for his, uh, Senate race, you know, you're only 13. She said, well, it's my country too. Can I help? And I thought that was great. So my, you know, I'm really, uh, I'm really proud of Peter and, you know, I always, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big, uh, cheerleader for him. And if you ever can pick up, pick up one of his books, crash proof, you know, why economy, uh, grows and why it fails, um, how economy grows and why it fails. And just take a look at Peter Schiff if you can. Remember, study up. Hummel, Jason Hummel, right? Peter Schiff, Mike Maloney. He's got a new video series out. It's pretty cool. I haven't joined uh, his new little deal there, but go on uh, uh, goldsilver.com if you can. Check them out. Anyway, this is Morgan SLV. I'm going to keep studying. And uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be putting out in the next couple days because I'm really, really busy with my other business. Uh, but you'll be hearing from me soon. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Please comment. Let me know how I'm doing. And uh, we'll see you soon. Morgan SLV out.